Wet setting anchor bolts in a concrete foundation may look like the easiest part of the job, but don't let that fool you into thinking it isn't the most important. In fact, it is the most important part of the job that you can do to ensure the structural integrity of your building. Anchor bolts placed with the wet setting anchor bolt system can cause air pockets, which undermines the structural integrity of your building. I'm Rachel Todd, Miss Florida 2009, and I would not buy a home that was built with the antiquated system of wet setting anchor bolts, and neither should you. What you see here is an anchor bolt setter, one of several different types. It presets the anchor bolt before the concrete is poured. It comes in three different parts. This is the ABS bolt cap. On the side of it, it is written 5 8 so it's a 5 8 bolt cap. It's designed for the 5 8 anchor bolt. You take the anchor bolt, you slide it inside, and you start screwing it in a few turns. When it meets compression, you continue that compression until the end of the anchor bolt lines perfectly up with the square orifices that's on the bolt cap. This is the ABS steel slider, ABS anchor bolt sitter. This steel slider is to be used when concrete is poured closely to the top of steel foundation forms like this one. It fits snugly and can be nailed or stapled down on the tongue to secure it more precisely if needs be. Once the steel slider is secure, you then set the anchor bolt with the bolt cap as shown here, while making sure that the protruding bottom of the anchor bolt faces the opposite wall, and then making sure that the round hole aligns with the square hole. This is the ABS Loctite, and snaps into position like this. From the opening top of the bolt cap, you can see the anchor bolt is at the top which means that the top of the anchor bolt is three inches from the bottom of the steel slider. The steel slider has a two inch mark on it. This suggests that from the Loctite wall to the center of the hole is two inches. The ABS sliders are designed to hold the anchor bolt two inches away from the form wall. The removal of the anchor bolt setter is easy. First you remove the Loctite and then you unscrew the bolt cap. I can't do it here because there's no concrete holding the anchor bolt in place, but I think by watching you'll get a general idea. And if you're careful, you should be able to use each of the parts many times over. Here are two anchor bolts set in place by the ABS steel sliders and are ready now for the concrete to be poured to about a quarter of an inch from the top. This is the ABS elbow and can be placed just about anywhere when the concrete is not poured to the top. These two anchor bolts were set by the ABS elbow. Oh, no. 
The anchor bolt with the yellow bolt cap is not straight. Later on, the worker reached over and pushed on the bolt cap, which did straighten the anchor bolt. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture that. After removal of the steel sliders, you can see that the anchor bolts are straight and the concrete did not concave around the anchor bolts. This is the one and a quarter inch slider and is used when the concrete is poured within an inch and a half from the top. This is the wood slider and is used when concrete is poured to the top of wood foundation forms. In some states or jurisdictions, you are not allowed to wet set your anchor bolts. What's being used here is a very inferior way of setting anchor bolts prior to the concrete being poured. As you can see, there's also different lengths of anchor bolts. Many of these anchor bolts aren't even set properly. The anchor bolt setter system, as demonstrated in this video, eliminates the improper practice of wet setting anchor bolts. It accurately sets the anchor bolt. It's easy to use and can be used many times over. On this project, they could have used my ABS wood slider with the long ABS bolt cap that range in different lengths from 5 inches to 10 inches like this 6 inch one. This foundation requires anchor bolts to be set 8 inches above the concrete. These are 8 inch ABS bolt caps. This is a quarter of an inch slider which means it sets the anchor bolt a quarter of an inch down from the top of the foundation form. This is the ABS elbow which can be placed anywhere as shown here. Just before pouring the concrete, I replaced this red inch and a quarter ABS slider with this yellow steel slider that sits on top of the foundation form. It has a six and a half inch bolt cap that holds the anchor bolt eight inches from the top of the concrete. The removal process is easy as seen here. And as seen here, all the parts are reusable. <laughs> 